Okay, so we're gonna go over how to operate and deploy uh, your brand new solar and wind trailer. Uh, so the very first step is to extend the outriggers. So we're gonna show you how to do that. Bolts up. After your outriggers are extended, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure the mass is level. Now that our mass is level, uh, depending on the angle of the sun, you may want to adjust the cradle. So we'll show you how to do that. It's a T-head bolt on either side. Inside the box, you'll find two breakers. This is for your solar. The 30 amp is for your wind. And these are for your solar panels. Uh, so the first step would be to check that everything's on. Turn everything on. Uh, down here you have a display for your solar. Up here up top, uh, I'll start over here. Uh, this is your mode operation switch. So off right now. Uh, manual just means that you can turn the lights on and off whenever. Uh, day night will be the day night sensor. 
So the lights will turn on when it's dark, will turn off when it's light. And then the last position is for the digital timer. So the lights will operate on the schedule that's set on the timer. So, uh, and over here, uh, this is your switch uh, for your wind turbine. So it has three positions. The center is disengaged, so it'll just free spin. Uh, all the way up is engaged, so it'll actively charge the batteries. And all the way down is brake, so it'll slow the windmill down so it doesn't spin. Uh, next to that, we have an indicator light that tells you whenever the inverter is powered on. And then next to that are your, your four light switch controls, which just control the four lights up top. So, once you've had your trailer position and your mast leveled and your solar panels deployed, we can go ahead and extend the mast to whatever height uh, that you needed at. So we'll demonstrate that. So if you want to adjust the position of the mast, uh, you can loosen this catch bolt here. Thank you. 